Today I'm gonna to show you how to move some pins around so that you can make John Deere work with practically anything. In the case of the John Deere machines, they come pinned out with the ground pin in A, but the universal standard, which was started by Bobcat, is having that ground pin in B. So if you just simply take a machine and move the ground pin from A to B, you can make this universal so it works with practically all attachments. That's Kubota, Case, New Holland, all, anything that's tagged for those machines will plug directly into your John Deere. If you don't want to do that, watch part B of this uh, video and you'll see us move the sockets in the attachment. The downside to that is if you have several attachments that you want to use on your John Deere, then you're going to have to move them. And then if you're borrowing them or renting them, you have to move it back again. So it's always best just to take care of this on the machine and then you have a nice universal machine that you can use on practically anything. So I'm first going to start and, and show you how to move the pins from A to B. So the first thing we need to do is we need to loosen off the collar on the back here. And what that does is that makes it so we can take the strain relief off. Now you can do this on the machine or on the, on the machines, there's actually just a nut. You can unscrew it and then you can pull the co connector right off. But here, once we've done that, then we just turn this. You can pull it back. Now we have access to the back of the connector and this is where we're gonna actually be able to move the pins. Okay, so all we're concerned about is this center part here. You'll see there's A, C, and D are pinned out already. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna move that pin from A to B. So here we go. We use our blue tool. If you bought anything from us, you'll get this tool. And we look in the back here. It's almost always the black wire. And something I'll do out in the field uh, is I just spit on it just to make it uh, slide a little bit easier into the... Uh, into the position. I follow the wire down and I just very carefully push it down until it goes all the way down to here and now it's ready to go. Then I'll go to the other side here and I can push it through just with a screwdriver. Push it back out. And then that way now I can slide, slowly just slide the wire out. Okay, so you see I pushed it back just by using the back of my screwdriver just so I can, it's easier to grab a hold of. If it doesn't come out with a tool, you can just use a, a small pair of pliers and just pull it out and there it is. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pin, I'm gonna push it right back in, only it's gonna go into the B position, that's B as in Bravo. So most of the time I can feed it through just with my finger and get it down inside there. And then once in a while, I might need a little bit of help here just to push it through. Okay. and there it is. Now this has just become a universal connection. Uh, be very careful when you're using this tool. It is actually meant as a single use tool. So when you are pushing it down inside here, you really wanna keep this for future use because you never know if you damage a connector or something and you wanna repair it, um, you wanna keep this tool. So just put it in your toolbox, but also just be aware that it's all technique when you're pushing it down. It should just slide down very easily. And that's why I say I just usually just spit on it and push it down inside. And then very carefully, you'll feel it click and then it'll slide right down into position. So I'll turn it and then click and it goes all the way down. And then that's, that's your indication right there. When it's down here, that's your indication it's ready to go. Also remember sometimes in these connectors, you're gonna look inside, you're gonna see these little white pins. Those are the, um, the seals. You wanna make sure you remove the seals first before you actually try to do any pin work. So now let's put the connector back together. I push the uh, the seal in place. I take this collar, I screw it down into place here. Make sure it's snug. Take my screwdriver. And what this does is this just makes the, uh, the wire a little more difficult to pull out if it does get caught on something. So we just, we wanna make sure it's fairly snug, but don't over tighten it, that's all. You just want to make sure it's got a good grasp on the uh, on the rubber collar here. And then now it's nice and snug. Now also, if you've removed it from the machine, now's your chance to slide it back into the uh, connector, 
put the lock washer on, put the nut on, tighten it down. You don't need to be too tight with it, but just snug enough that the, the washer's crushed and then you're good to go. You've now made this into a universal uh, machine. So this is the attachment side now. So this is what you're gonna see. It's a female with sockets installed. And all we're gonna do, if you don't wanna, you didn't wanna move it on the machine, we're gonna move the, the position on this from B to A so that it's compliant with the John Deere specification. So I'm gonna show you two methods. One is the is if you've got the tool, if you might've bought something from us and you've got the tool in your in your kit. And the other is the field uh, that I, the field change out that I do if I don't have the tool with me. Okay, so in this case, I've removed the, the strain relief already, so it's a little quicker for us. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna move B to A. This is on the attachment side, so this is the female with sockets. When I'm out in the field, I'll just spit on it. It makes things a little easier. I slide this tool down. Remember, it's not muscle, it's all technique, so I just wanna push it down till the tool's almost flush with the back of the connector, and then I can pull the black wire out, and there it is. That's what we're trying to move here. And all I'm gonna do now is just move it over to the A position. And all of those positions are the ones that are in the center. So there's four positions that are in the center. And I can usually just feed this straight through till it clicks. And it didn't quite go all the way down. So I'll use my screwdriver and give it a little help here. Till it clicks. And there I go. Now I've pushed it all the way back through on the inside here and it's good to go. So now it will work with John Deere, but you do have to remember, or maybe even put a sticker on it, that that's what it's pinned out for. So you, if you wanna put it back on some type of universal machine, you wanna be able to have it noted so that you're not sitting there scratching your head all day trying to figure out why the thing won't work. Now, if you're in the field and you don't have that tool, here's an alternate way of doing this. What I do is I use a small jeweler screwdriver or just a really small shafted screwdriver. It has to have a taper to it so that it fits inside the socket. So I just slide it down inside the socket like this and then give it a quick tap and it pushes it through to the inside. Make sure it goes inside the socket and make sure this shaft is smaller than the than the socket so that it'll slide down inside there. And then you can easily just pull the, pull the wire out and off you go. You don't actually need the tool and it won't damage it. Of course, always a little bit of lubricant's always good, some spray on silicone, something like that. Uh, just to make things go smoother. And then that's it. You can do this out in the field very easily. This only works on the female sockets. Do not try to use it on the pins or you'll bend the pins on the machine. So this is only for the attachment side socket connections.